Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, best wishes to all of us, the honorable all committees and participants at the International Conference on Industrial, Mechanical, Electrical, and Chemical Engineering 2021. Please allow me, Abian Mofat, from the Research Group of Applied Energy Conversion and Nanotechnology of Sebelas Maret University, to represent other authors to present the results of our research regarding the effect of electrospin precursor flow rate with rotating collector on zinc oxide nanofiber size results on double layered DSSG photonode fabrication. <coughs> Among the three generations of solar cells developed by scientists, the last generation is the dye-sensitized solar cell discovered by Michael Gretzel in 1991. The, the SSG is interesting to research because of its convenience and low cost in fabrication. Uh, the use of double layer photonodes using titanium dioxide nanoparticles and zinc oxide nanofiber in uh, the SSG is arranged to form a sandwich to strengthen the semiconductor bone with the substrate and increase their adhesive, adhesive properties. The addition of zinc oxide nanofiber semiconductors to titanium dioxide nanoparticle makes it easier for electrons to flow after the photons are absorbed because of their morphology, which leads to increasing electron mobility and excitation. The development of the zinc oxide nanofiber fabrication method on double layer DSSG is performed by directly depositing the zinc oxide solution on the titanium dioxide deposited FTO glass using the electro spinning process. This method can reduce fabrication time, prevent damage to the nanoparticle and nanofiber structures, and can improve the DSSG performance. From uh, several factors that influence the electro spinning process, the solution flow rate factor is now to have a major influence on the formation of fibers in the collector and affects the diameter of the semiconductor morphology produced. The use of rotating collector in the electrospinning process will also provide better uniformity of the resulting nanofibers compared with fixed collector as it will affect the rate of solution evaporation in the electrospinning process. Therefore, this study performs the fabrication of zinc oxide nanofiber semiconductors by directly depositing the zinc oxide solution onto titanium dioxide deposited at the glass. The fabrication uses the electrospin process with rotating collectors and varies the flow rate of the solution so that the effect of those factors on the diameter and the morphological shape of the double layer in the SSG can be determined. This research was conducted at the Mechanical Engineering Nanobioenergy Laboratory of Blasmar University. The tools used in this study are a magnetic stirrer from the solution synthesizing, an electrospinning machine with a rotating collector for nanofiber fabrication, a scanning electron microscope equipment, and image software to measure the diameter of the resulted nanofiber. The materials used in this study in this study are distilled water, polyvinyl alcohol, zinc acetate, and titanium dioxide deposited at the glass. The process begins by synthesizing a solution consisting of a mixture of polyvinyl alcohol solution with zinc acetate solution. The final solution is then put into a syringe pump with a capacity of one milliliter, and then installed in electro spinning machine. The syringe containing the solution is connected to the positive pole of high voltage surge and placed at a fixed distance of 8 cm from the FTO glass on the rotating collector connected to the negative pole, which will attract the solution to the FTO glass in the form of nanofibers. The solution flow rate in the electro spinning process uses variations of 2, 4, 6, and 8 microliter per minute. After the spraying process, the samples are then sintered at a temperature of about 932 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 minutes to dissolve organic matter and form zinc oxide in the form of crystals. 
Furthermore, the scanning electron microscope testing is performed on the fabrication result. From these pictures of the SEM test results, it can be observed that the lower the use of the solution chloride, the smaller the average diameter of the nanofiber result. This result also proves previous research which explains that the use of a rotating collector will produce nanofibers with good uniformity. This data from the diameter measurements using ImageG software shows that the use of a larger solution flow rate will produce nanofibers with a larger diameter. The results of this measurement are in accordance with previous studies which explain that the thickness of the nanofiber produced from the electrospinning process is directly proportional to the amount of the flow rate of the solution used. The use of a rotating collector also increased the evaporation rate of the solution so as to produce nanofibers with a smaller diameter compared to the use of a fixed collector. This proves uh, the previous study which explained that the use of a rotating collector will affect the nanofiber diameter to be relatively smaller. The size reduction of the nanofiber produced either from the use of low flow rate variations or the use of a rotating collector will increase the dye absorption area by the semiconductor which may have an impact on increasing the performance of the SSC as it needs more research to prove it. So the use of variations in the solution flow rate in electrospinning process with a rotating collector using direct deposition method affects the diameter and morphological shape of the resulting double layer DSSC photon node. The use of a rotating collector also affects the size of the resulting nanofiber to be relatively smaller than the use of a fixed collector. The lower the flow rate of the solution used, the smaller the resulting nanofiber diameter and the wider the dye absorption area which can lead to an improved DSSG performance and on that final note that concludes my presentation. Thank you so much for your interest and attention. I sincerely appreciate that I've had this opportunity to present to you. If anyone who would like more information or, or has questions, uh, please feel free to contact our correspondence file mail and that brings us to the end of the presentation. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.